As you play Crisis 2 multiplayer, it's worth keeping your eyes open. Because there's a ton of skill assessments, dog tags, and perks for you to collect. Here's a brief overview of how these work. Skill assessments are a range of challenges that you can take on while playing the game. They range from the simple ones you get in the course of an average game to much more difficult ones that require expert skill and timing across a variety of areas. Skill assessments are a great way to hone your skills and they also allow you to unlock bonus levels of ability related to each particular assessment. Every player carries a dog tag and you can customize your tags from the wide variety on offer. You are also awarded further tags in relation to how and when you play the game. Click on your operative status to view your tags. Oh my god, what's he doing to that body? When you kill another player, they drop their tag. Collect enough tags, you can unlock some pretty useful perks. Perks are map-specific support bonuses that can be deployed to order and used tactically. They can give you a devastating advantage in the field. For instance, Maximum Radar reveals your enemy's location. While the Nana Suit Jammer turns your opponent's suit modes off, which makes it a very unfair fight. And whether you're an expert or a beginner, collect enough tags and you too can watch your enemies fleeing from the Seth gunship. Or toast them with an orbital strike. Now that is what I call a bonus.